Uh, just scrimmage in the books. Uh, you know, obviously everyone knew what Jaron was going to do out there being the leader this year, but the rest of the team, how do you think uh, tonight went? Well, I think uh, offensively we, we passed the ball. Uh, fatigue kills our defense. But uh, I was happy with tonight. You know, the guys been working really hard. You got to let them have some fun and play. They had a lot of fun tonight, uh, trying to bond, trying to get our on-court bonding. Uh, off the court bonding's overrated. You got to bond on the court, share the ball together. You got to go through things together as a group. So uh, all in all, I was really pleased with uh, a lot of things tonight, mostly our passing. And when we pass the ball, we got a chance to, to be a good offensive team. You know, I think this team, people got us wrong. They're, they're worried about our offense. I'm worried about our defense. Is that the first time you've been worried about defense in five or six years here? Uh, how many how many years since Gary Clark wasn't here? <laughs> <laughs> five or six years, there you go. Yeah, I didn't worry about defense on our team when I had Gary Clark, so. Uh, no Gary Clark makes me nervous on defense. And I think Jacob Evans is a very underrated defender. Big reason he got drafted to Golden State was his versatility on the defensive end. Uh, despite his shooting struggles late in the season. So we lost by far our best two defenders. So, I, you know, that, that's probably my biggest concern for us early in the season. But uh, I, I think if we pass the ball, we, we have enough firepower when we share the ball. How, how much are you just going to get inside that finished arena now or no. <laughs> two weeks out? You know, it's just still hard to believe, to be honest with you. We've been out of there for so long. and Obviously, I've taken recruits through the arena. Uh, been in there a lot, but you know when, when, when it's finally done and we run out to play a game in there, or at least when I just get to go down and get dressed, uh, we all get to go back to our locker rooms and, and get ready for a game. It's it's been a long time coming. Is that why you guys played this extension? Yeah, it's not ready yet. Nope. Yeah. No options. <laughs> Coach, did the players find out they were getting the rings tonight? When did yeah. They... No, we didn't tell them. It was a surprise for them. We wanted to surprise them. Uh, you know, there's only uh, very, very few teams had the success that we've had lately. You know, we have the sixth longest NCAA tournament streak. Uh, only four teams have won 30 plus games the last two years. I appreciate our fans coming out tonight to support these guys. You know, the, the way they, the, the, the way this team handles themselves off the floor uh, is going to give them a chance to win on the floor. I really believe that. Okay, obviously focus for you this offseason has been being more aggressive, more assertive on offense. Mm -hmm. You had a closed scrimmage, an open scrimmage. Do you feel like you're finding that that part of your game back and, and looking to, to be more aggressive? Yeah, I mean, I feel like it was it was like a matter of time. Like, I mean, I was doing it before I got here in high school. Uh, now with me not being like a just a role player, kind of stepping up, like Coach Cron didn't even step up. I feel like I was finding it. Uh, my coach was putting a lot of faith in me. They'll keep me confident in my teammates as well, my teammates as well. So, I mean, it was, it was, in my opinion, it was just a matter of time. And I feel like, you know, I've been working on it, just getting back to what I used to do. And you now I, I feel like it's working. Tell me about Jaron as a passer. He's a great passer. I, my, I think Jaron might be probably the, number, the best passer on the team, you know. Uh, he, I mean, he, so, so many people just worry about his scoring. With, and they like don't take, they don't understand like th that he's not just a scorer. He's he's like a whole a total offensive player. So I mean, he some of the passes he makes is like is like great. Like in my opinion, they're incredible the way he finds people off the screen. Like uh, when the, the big man roll or finding the guards wide open from someone from the def defenders tagging. Like he he like I think in my opinion he the best passer on the team. Both teams scored in the 80s. Are you expecting defensive practice on Saturday? I mean, oh my bad. I'm sorry. I mean, it, it we, I mean, we was out here just having fun. You know, you know, we wasn't out here trying to kill each other. Like our first scrimmage, our, our close scrimmage was, was the the real deal scrimmage. You know, but I feel like we all just went out like we gonna play, just have fun, give the fans something to see. And I mean, it was fun. It was it was all good. How did this compare to the close scrimmages or some of the back and forth you guys have done in practice? Oh, this. This was, it, it don't compare, like the closed scrimmage, like the back and forth in practice, it's all serious. Like we was laughing a lot out here in the court playing around. Like when we in practice or the closed scrimmage, it was, it was no laughing, it was all serious. Like we playing our, our real defense, uh, switching everything. Uh, offensively, we doing our real calls. Uh, like this, I mean, like I said, it was, this is was just us out, out, out here having fun. Like it's, it's, it's totally different. Like it's, it's war when it's like closed scrimmage in practices. Like it's real deal. Nick's not as quiet as he was today. Oh, uh, no, not at all, not at all. How excited are you about going back to Pittsburgh? I'm excited. I'm, I'm very excited. And I'm, my two most uh, things I was waiting for was getting his rings and getting back in fifth third. 
Like, I mean, it's just going to feel, it's going to feel better. Like, I mean, thank, I think NKU for letting us use the gym, but coming back home, like on campus, it's, it's going to actually feel like a home game. Like, and we have our fans, all our fans, from the students to the, you know, season ticket holders back in there. It's, it's just going to be electric. We talked about this, that first, that first walk into the new locker room. What's that experience going to be for you guys? Because you've been kind of homeless for <laughs> a year and a half. It's going to be crazy. Like, I've seen a few videos on Twitter here and there. But I mean, us getting back in there, going from the locker room we in now to the new renovated locker room, it's going to be crazy. Like, a lot of the guys already said, like, we're not leaving. Like, we're going to stay in there as long as we want. We're going to relax in the locker room. Like, and I'm one of them. So, I mean, I know it's, gonna, it's just going to be crazy seeing a new locker room, everything. And just seeing our names lit up on top of the on, on top of our locker, it's, we're just gonna be so much com more comfortable in there. Hello, how y'all doing? You got any questions? No, we're just what? gonna have you stand there. Oh, okay. <laughs> we talked uh, a little bit about with um, we talked a lot about Gary and Kyle being going inside, and you and Trey have to kind of step up a little bit. Tonight it's just one scrimmage, but there's a little indication that you guys have been obviously ready to step up. Um, yes, as as players that have been in program over time, you uh, you tend to develop over the, over the time that you're in the school. And players who really don't, you see where they at. But man, Trey definitely plan on stepping up a lot this year, because one, we're definitely the upperclassmen now, so it's a lot of weight on our shoulders, and we just got to bring the young kids with us and show them how to be aggressive, but not not reckless though. You guys have had a lot of extra time with the Canada trip and the extra practices. Do you feel like you're kind of done with the scrimmages now and ready to maybe get out there and play some, at least some other opponents? Uh, man, as, as a basketball player, you're always ready for the game. You're always ready for the game. The, the little things is what matters, though, the, the, the extra time and for the Canada practices and the scrimmages and all that because we are a young team and so we, we're, we are missing a lot of, a lot of upperclassmen experience. So just with the, the Canada trip and stuff like that, it was all good because we all got to get a good flow and chemistry together with the younger guys earlier in the season. You get a chance to set a really hard screen on Trevor. Uh, Saturday, are you going to? Uh, probably. I don't know. He annoying. <laughs> <laughs> no, <ain't going>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, playing against Ellie every day. Uh, uh, it's, it's it's good. It's real good because <clears throat> one, it helps me. It helps me make sure that I keep intact that I'm a defensive-minded person first because he, he's, he's a very outstanding worker. And it's just, it just, it just helped me bring, it just helped me bring intensity and energy to every practice. Because I, I know I got to match his. Was it annoying the first day he got here when he first showed up? Uh, around and flying everywhere? No, nah, not really, because we, 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 we both got chips on our soldiers, so we, we, we collide, we collide a lot. But hey, it's, it's a good collision though. It's, we, we real good teammates, try to push each other every day on the offensive and defensive end. Just try to help towards another one of these.